Hello everybody, welcome back to the Cool Cast Rule channel and today I have for you some more uh, Paper Mario. Let's see, in the last one, uh, we finished, uh, we're almost finished with the castle level. Let's see, we made it all the way to the final room. We did a lot of battles in the last one. Um, so if so if the fights are really your gist in Paper Mario, go check that one out because uh, we did like a lot of, a lot of, a lot of fighting. Um, so let's see, we're at the final room. Uh, if we open that door, we're gonna start the boss battle. Uh, we already saved, but let's save just one more time, just because uh, reassurance for me. If you like that, please leave a like. You know, like if you're always like, "Oh man, did I save? Did I save? I gotta save again." I, I I'm, I've always been like that. Like with Pokemon, I'm always like, I save, but then like I forget like the second that I saved that I saved. So I'm like, did I save? And then I just save again. I think that's. Ugh, it just bothers me so much that I just don't like... I like seeing, like, the save screen say, save completed. Anyways, I'm just digressing here. Let's see, we're gonna get on with the... With the boss battle, and we also leveled up. So, yeah, man, I think we're all ready. We already saved, hopefully. And, uh, let's just get started, right? Okay, let's see here. And this should be Hooktail, so, um... Let's see, actually, I always thought that Hotel was a guy until later in the game. I figured out that that she's a girl, actually. And I was actually well, like, what? What? How is, how is this dragon a girl? But anyway, she's a girl. So let's see, let's think of a, a weird, like, I, I want to say, like, uh, almost like a smoker's voice for her. So let's see here. Uh, I don't want to really kill my throat with this person because uh, she actually talks a lot. I don't know. I'll think of something. Who? No, 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 no. That's too, like, uh, deep for a woman's voice. Who, who dares approach me? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So you are friends of the strange, strange guard one who came earlier? I didn't expect more to come to steal the treasure I protect. Such rashness. That was foolish, I fear. Do you really think you can beat me? And, oh shit, you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to equip the badge. That kind of blows. Okay, we're back. And, uh, we have the badge on. <laughs> That was actually really, really my fault. I was supposed to put it on like at the end of the last video, but uh, I kind of fucked up there. So anyway, but anyways, we're just we're just back to where we are. So let's see, we just have the badge equipped. I didn't do anything else. So let's see, where were we? Uh, but you're so small and you don't appear tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. And the bottoms of your feet smell like they might make a good sauce with some spices. Yeah, that's right. She has like a weird foot fetish. I kind of forgot about that. What I'll do is saute you to crispy goodness and gobble you down head first. Here we go. Our very first first boss battle, everybody. Are you ready? Snack time, little appetizers. But which one of you more taste first? This is the freaking theme song, you guys. I love it. I love this theme song. It's actually too loud for my TV. I think it means it's my headphones. Anyways. Okay. So I believe she has uh, like 20 health. Which is actually a lot. Com considering that we just started. But. We do. Let's just. Uh, let's just uh, do normal attacks first. And then we'll switch out Coops for Bubella. And then we'll see what she has to say about her. And that's right, I think I just talked over it, but I'll, I'll be quiet once we get another attack in. But we just have the badge equipped, and it's like the, the cricket sound. She really doesn't like that. Let's see here. Well, that awful sound. It sounds like a, like a cricket. How did you know? Stop that this instant. <clears throat> I got real bad uh, food poisoning once when I ate a cricket. I hate them. Oh, fight it. Fight it, Hooky. 
Just hearing a cricket chirp makes me feel woozy. Okay, so now we just switch over to Isabella. I don't think I don't think I, I'm good enough to counter like all like the boss moves, but uh, we'll give it a try next round. And uh, yeah, Let's see how we do. Must not gag my poor tummy. Er, so very. Moody. Okay, so let's tattle, tattle hooktail, and let's see what Goombala has to say about her. That's hooktail. Max HP is 20, attack is 5, and fence is 1. It'll stomp and munch on you. It has some more. It has a more dragon brush attack. Stinky fiery breath. And it will try to fool you into being merciful. Oh yeah, and one more thing, it hates things that start with CR and end with Ikken. Supposedly there's something related to that somewhere in this castle. Did we find it? We did. Oh, fuck, it's really really hard to time that. I don't think that'll be able to, I think, I think I'll just defend for now. So yeah, she has uh, 20 HP. So we're just gonna wreck her now. Oh, at least she's electrified. Okay, now we can uh, switch over to Gumbella being uh, first in the pack. And, uh, That's right, and her attacks do get lowered once, like, you have, like, all the cricket stuff. Yeah, her attack lowers, like, way, way down. And uh, we're actually not going to do another power smash because uh, once you get close to beating her, she does that trick thing. And it's actually kind of funny. Besides, I mean, I don't really have to counter it because her attack is one now. Okay, let's just go over to Gumbella. so bad anymore I promise in fact I'm sorry for everything uh, yeah T to prove it I'll give you a thousand coins what do you say can you forgive me for a thousand coins sure uh no <laughs> because we can't even get to a thousand coins in this game, so what y you must be joking you don't need any coins then then how about a lovely rare extra special badge I have I'll give you that it's one of a kind and it's yours for a limited time only. Would you take it? Um. Uh, really? Uh, well, I suppose I could apologize by letting you smell the bottoms of my feet. Some people pay good money to do this. I'm being completely honest right now. Really? So, care to take a whiff of the rich yet delicate scent of my world renowned feet? Nah. That is actually nasty as fuck. Uh. You are a very trusting fellow, aren't you? It's important to be able to trust someone, you know. Uh, I guess I'd better. This is actually not fun right here, but she does. <laughs> like, these are actually people she's eating. I didn't even come back when you beat her. Like, she actually ate them. That's just terrible! Whoa ha 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 ha! Ah, now my strength has returned to me! That's it! Enough of this! Let's finish him off once and for all, Mario! Okay. Alright, we got this. She only has 10 health left. And we can just do Power Smash on her. Damn! And we still have the Cricket thing, so it weakens her, even though she just ate people. Why do I always have the feeling to so good? I just messed up that line. Why do I always feel... Why do I always have to feel so faint every time I hear it? <coughs> Cricket! 
All right, let's see. Uh, fuck it, let's use a fire flower. Power smash, and that should be it. Damn, she's done for. It. Boom! First boss defeated, everybody. But, but I, I, ugh, how, why? There's still so much I wanted to do with my life. So many meals. Ooh, dirty. We got it. Wow, that's gonna look really bad on YouTube. All that shaking, it's gonna look like shit. Yes, we did it, Mario! All we have to do now is search for that crystal star we can't seem to locate. Oh. 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 Oh, that's nasty, she's up chucking that crystal star. Or not the crystal star, but Koops' dad. E I don't know what kind of voice to give him. Yeah, I'm out. I'm finally out. Whoa, it, it, it can't be. Eh? The dad? Hey, you're you're Coops. Hey, son, you've gotten so big since I saw you last. Well, uh, yeah, I guess I have, but who cares, Dad? I mean, golly, what happened to you? Where have you been all this time? Well, I came here a while back to deal with Hooktail, and all was well and good. But just before my finishing blow... Look, look, I don't like that they did that, because she's actually a girl. It should be a she. I don't know, though. I don't know. It always, like, seemed... I don't know. You know what? I actually might be forgetting. But we'll see. We'll, we'll keep a tab on this right here. And once we get to like the final end game stuff, there is a I'll, I'll give a little spoiler away. There is a guy almost at the end of the game called Gloomtail, and he calls Hooktail his sister. So I don't know if this is true or not. I can't. Don't quote me on it. But for right now, we'll say she. She played a trick on me and gobbled me down whole. I've been hiding in my shell for ten years since then, inside Hooktail's belly. Boy, it wasn't nasty. Yup, I'm so glad to finally get out. Ha 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 Honestly, Dad, don't you, don't you know how worried about you we all were? For ten long years, we all thought, you know, you, you know, we, we thought your game was over. That's a good reference. Oh, sorry, son, but I'm okay now. That's good, right? We're together now, right? Hey, speaking of which, what are you doing here anyway? Oh, Come on, Dad. I came here to defeat Hooktail, who's been wreck wreaking havoc in town. And Mr. Mario here and his... And Mr. Mario here is looking for a gem called the Crystal Star. Crystal Star? This wouldn't be what you're talking about, would it? What? What's that? I found it down there in Hooktail's belly. Nice, huh? I kept it as a souvenir. So, uh, this is the thing you're looking for. Perfect, just perfect. You can have it. Come now. I won't take no for an answer. You're Koops' friend. Please, take him. Oh, yeah. Okay, everybody. Awesome. First crystal star gift. Yeah. Damn right, we did. And we got a new called Earth Tremor. Story continues on. Mario and his friends finally got a crystal star in a castle after defeating Hooktail. Koops is reunited with his long lost father, whom he thought was dead. Yet they were unable to learn anything about the whereabouts of the princess. Where could Princess Peach be? Yes, Mario's adventure has only just begun. Same all game progress up to this point? Yes.
Okay, now this is what I really like about this game. You know, whenever you finish a chapter, you get to go into like, uh, I wouldn't say you get to go in the live with people, but you know, you, you get to see what's going on. Because you know, you need some context. Otherwise, then what's the point of the game? Oh, great exalted Grotus. We brought the Princess Peach. You ordered, sir. Oh, um, I don't know what kind of voice to give this guy because a little, another little spoiler, which I guess you'll see in about like five seconds. He is a robot, so I don't know what kind of, what kind of voice to give this guy. All right, let's see. Let's think, let's try to think of one real quick. Let's see. Uh, I don't have like any like voice changer either, so that's, that kind of makes it hard. Well, 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 my pet, isn't it about time you told us where the map is? Princess Peach, he will speak when spoken to. I, I, I'm telling you, I, I don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me. Oh shit, I just pressed A by accident. <laughs> we x not are not all rainbows and lollipops, I assure you. We're quite nasty. Brodus, sir, I have, I have news. Report at once. You know that crystal star we thought maybe hooked to the head? Well, somebody nabbed it. What? What did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars? And he defeated that hooktail creature, you say? Speak, soldier! Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's more to it. See, according to the report, it was a mustache dude in a red hat and blue overalls who pulled the jab. Mario! Excuse me, Mario? Oh, no! She said it. I don't have to say it. Gag, 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 gag. I see. So you know of this Mario, do you? This fool matters not at all. I'll know all about him before long. That I promise. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the folding room. Yes, sir. And men, take good care of Princess Peach. Understand? She is not to be harmed. You got it, sir. I don't actually think he talks like this. I might change his voice later on when he talks again. Well, Lord Crump. If this Mario character has the map, then it's highly likely we'll need... He'll find the crystal star we're hunting in the Boggly Woods. You must return there immediately and hasten the excavation. It must not fail. Oh, I forgot the voice I gave this guy. What's, what's that? Oh yeah, sure, uh, Roger Grotus. And uh, with that, pow, I'm gone. Nailed it. I nailed it. I wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He is a bit out there. X not. I summon you. You rank, dude? I mean, sir? You rank, sir? Grotus, dude? Grotus, sir? Grotus, dude, sir? Shut up. <laughs> Go get the Shadow Sirens over here. The, the Shadow Sirens, sir? What they... I don't care how you plan to end that sentence. Fool, get them now. Gotcha. Gotcha, bro. The Honorable... Oh, shit, no. This is the Shadow Sirens. Ah, shit, 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 shit. This is, like, the leader. And you'll see... You'll see her... If I give her this voice, you'll see why. The Honorable Grotus has need of us? We arrive without delay. Obviously, you can tell which one is the leader here. 
Pray tell, did the princess tell you where the map is? Spill your tongue, Beldum. We would already have it if you'd snatched her earlier. But now, since you missed your chance, Tom Pool, poor fool Nate Mario has the map. It wasn't my fault, truly. There were too many prying eyes there. Too many. Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of truth, and we had to retreat. Why, work? All we need to do is now is find this Mario and steal the map, yes? Indeed, that is your duty. Must I remind you that map is vital to the x not plan? I will have my men prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, hear me, Beldum. You Shadow Sirens must take care of this troublemaker. Yeah! Fear not, Sire. I, Beldum, shall return with, that, with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian, come. We've got a job to do. Go! Okay. Okay, so obviously we're on the moon. That's cool. Oh dear. Where were we? Oh dear, here we go again. I can't believe I'm I'm kidnapped again. Mario and Tothrith must be worried sick again. But hang on a moment. Where in the world am I anyways? It's so unfamiliar. I wish I could at least tell Mario and Tothrith now. I wish I could at least let Mario and Tothrith know that I've been caught. I think they already know, Princess. Okay, um, let's see. Let's go into another thing here. And we're just going to take a quick shower. Oh, what a lovely shower! No soap scum! No soap scum even! Wow, I wonder if it works! Yeah, man, because uh, if x knots are known for one thing, it's that they're really good at cleaning bathtubs. I'll tell you that for sure. Ah, hee hee! Oh my goodness. This is actually like just one of the w pervious things in a Mario game that I've seen. Even though you can't see it, you know, I mean like you get the image in your head because you're you're the princess. You took her there, so it always just gives me well not me like personally, but like I feel like it gives like people the image of her like taking a shower and I I don't know. I think that's just like really, really bad. <laughs> For a Nintendo game. Anyways. How refreshing. I feel like a new princess. Alright, let's go. And uh, her hair should change. And now someone's opening doors for us. What was that? Hey, how odd. The doors open by themselves. I know you guys love my Princess Peach boys. Don't, don't lie. It doesn't look like anyone's around. How do I keep making stores open? How odd. Oh shit, and then we meet my boy. This is my boy, everybody. This is like... Well, he's not a character, but... Well, I guess you could say he's a character. But, uh... Oh shit, no, I... Well, anyways, we're gonna change Gordas' voice, so I guess we can make, uh, this guy's voice, uh, what we made Grotus' voice. Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What? Who said that? Where are you? How amusing. I'm right here, before your eyes. And I am this laboratory's main computer. I am the TEC... XX. Many call me Tech. You may. Sir Grotus created me to become... Haha. 
Sir Grotus created me to be a perfect computer, one that is flawless in its reason. Grotus? Wait, he's that awful dome-headed thing who is inter interrogating me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, I don't think so. But I thought I'll change your mind, so I'm wondering, why did you leave me in here? I am unsure. An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. If you don't get the innuendos by now, you know, you're not really that creative. I'm gonna let it, like, just sit there and uh, let you guys uh, think, th think it through. Also, an unidentified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs and their solution was I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a compulsion has no precedent. Cause unknown. I, the perfect computer, I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. Wait, did you just say you want to observe me? To know more about me? <gasps> oh shit. Could it be that you? No, impossible. It can't be. You're a computer. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I, I couldn't really because, uh, it's just too weird. Please tell me, princess. Please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything that I do not understand. Please. Well, you know, maybe. Is it possible that though you're in love? <laughs> love? What is love? I cannot compute this. Wait, you don't know what love is? Love is, uh, how do I, how do I explain this? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy, smiling, having fun. To love someone, you will do anything to help when he or she is in trouble. Happiness, fun. I have definitions for these words, but my programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am the perfect computer. Comprehend love? Love is not something you comprehend, Tech. You, you feel it. Wow, the, the spikes on the audio are just terrible when I do her voice. Princess Peach, will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? What? You're a computer. Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love, please. If you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But of course, I am unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. What? Are you insane? You extra kidnap me like common Koopas. And now you... And now you call me in here and ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen. You'll grant my wishes? Ha! Huh. Why should I believe you? I understand you are angry. That emotion I comprehend. You cannot teach me now. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There is nothing. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why, if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay, here goes. K 
Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator to send a wireless mail to anywhere you want. If you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient address and message. Bloop, 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 bloop. Come on. You mean this keyboard? Yes, it's the only keyboard there, Princess. Just write the email. We're running low on time here. Alright, let me give this a shot. Okay, it's ready, Tech. Could you send it? The message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something. Okay then, good night. Good night, Princess Peach. Oh, okay, we're done with that. Oh my god, we're almost gonna top 30 minutes. No! Nobody's gonna wanna watch this. Speed by this. I'm just gonna show you what he can do because uh, we're gonna take control of him, but I'll show you what he can do. I love Bowser's theme. So ha 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 ha! Bowser the Mighty Koopa King has arrived! Hold your applause, minions! But now that I am here, Cammy, you crusty old hag, why did you summon me? Uh, Great Lord Bowser, the uh, crusty hat cami will arrive momentarily. I am really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the near, at the rear of the room. All right, so let's see. We're Bowser now, and uh, obviously he has fire breath. He can't jump in here, but uh, that's it. He just freeze fire. Lord Bowser. <laughs> she got tired on the way. I, I just returned. I just now returned. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. I bet you are, Kami Kuba. Now out with it. Why have you called me here? Please, your grumpiness. Don't be so impatient with is your poor servant. Ahem. It's my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Roport. Pfft. Am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. Are you going to call me every time that guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh. Yes, well, you see, my lord. Apparently, Mario is hunting for an amazing treasure. T treasure? Yes, Mario has gone in search for starship jewels known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. The crystal stars, you say? They sound like good world conquering tools. I want them. Hmm, yes, very good. Continue researching the, this for me, you brainy hag, you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. By the way, Lord Bowser, do you like fried eggs? Uh, yeah, man, I love fried eggs. Do I? I love fried eggs. Love them. But, uh, what a weird question. Why do you ask? Well, uh, during my Mario Recon, I stopped in a lovely place called Petal Meadows. I was planning on taking everyone there for a picnic, having some eggs and toast. Of course, I wouldn't think of sending out invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. Airhead! A picnic? You moron! There's no time for fun! See? This is why my evil plans always derail, because you clods always goof off! No! Oh dear Bowser! Oh dear Lord Bowser, please calm down! Remember your blood pressure! What's that? What? Is this true? 
Lord Bowser, terrible news. Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach and Robort. Huh? What? Tell me you're lying, Cabby. How? When? Where? Who do such a thing besides me? I'm afraid we don't have that information quite yet. The investigation is ongoing. One thing is certainly confirmed, however. The princess has been kidnapped. Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so. I will not stand for this. I'm going to Rogueport now. I've got ki I've got to kidnap her back. I love this game so much. But your... But your crunchiness! Wait up! <laughs> uh, yes. Save all game progress, please. Okay, I think that should be it for right now. And we are well... Uh, well beyond 30 minutes now. I believe after this we're gonna call it a day. Hoops, my lad! Are you telling me that you're going with Mario? Um, yeah, that's right, Dad. I'm going to continue traveling with Mario. And then, um, well, I'm going to come back a strong Koopa, like you, Dad. Nicely said, young Koops. That's my boy. But always remember this. You are my son, Koops, and I am your father. Ha ha ha. That Star Wars reference, I think. Oops, my sweet. I'll be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. Uh, may I just add, if anything happens, you can always come home, Coops. Oh, don't you ever forget that this village will always be your home. Oh, thank you, everyone. Well, I'm off. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewells. So, where are we going? Let's head back to Rogueport. Remember, Mario, the bearer of the magical map shall unflur it before the thousand-year door. When, it, when this is done, the stars shall guide the bearer to the, to the crystal star with pure light. And it didn't stop there. Each crystal star shall point to the next. That's what the book says, anyway. Which means if we take the crystal star we found back to the crystal to the thousand-year door, so that means the locate so that means the location of the next crystal star will appear on the magic map. Exactly. Come on, let's go. All right, let's go. All right, everybody. We are uh, definitely done with this uh, episode. And it's very, very long. Um, so let's see. We uh, got the Crystal Star. We got a little bit of context about where Princess Peach is. And now Bowser's, Bowser's on his way, apparently. And uh, yeah, man, we're just going to go back to the Thousand Year Door. And uh, we're going to show, uh, and the, I guess the map's going to tell us where to go next. So uh, if you want to see what happens next, please stick around for the next video. As for this one, uh, please leave a like on it. And subscribe if you want to see some more uh, Paper Mario. And also, like I said in the last one, please uh, leave a comment down below to tell me what kind of game to play next. I'm always looking for new stuff to play. And I will gladly take all your recommendations as long as I can get my hands on them. Uh, but yeah, man. Uh, as for right now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.